Hello, hello. Hello, everyone. Happy New Year. Hello. Did you see the, the message by Juan Carlos that he sent uh, yesterday around 6 p.m. for us? I saw the message. Okay. Do you have a chance to, to validate that the answers were uh, correct from your standpoint? Or do you want do you want me to prepare a slide to, to bring you know this email as well? And also share with my screen. What happened is, is Juan Carlos published O2, but he did not really reply to you until now. So I pinged him uh, to, to effectively point on, on uh, the changes that he made in O2 to actually answer your questions. And so basically what I wanted to sort out today is if we were all happy with, with the answers and the version in O2, so we could effectively uh, call for publication. So that, that would be one big topic for today. Okay, so I don't know if I should talk about it now or just wait for the right time slot. Okay, maybe we we wait. We we'll uh, have a time slot. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 Good. Good point. Good point. Oh, is, the, is the echo coming from me? Hmm. I would say so. Hmm. Well, Pascal usually does not use uh, headsets, so you could be a good candidate for that. For three days, I had uh, my laptop that uh, the sound doesn't work, didn't work, uh, except with having the Bluetooth uh, earphones, and I did. I decided, okay, just before this ITF, I will restart the computer just for <laughs> for it to work. Maybe it worked a little bit too well. Anyway. Maybe it's trying to catch up for all the times it didn't work. So just repeating everything three times. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, the beauty of it. I changed. I changed it. That uh, I suggested. Can you hear me? Okay. Does it work like this? Hello. Yes. We yes. Can you can hear. Me. Yes. Very well. Okay. Um, sometimes the Bluetooth just screws up. So if it does, I will come back to my normal setups. Normally, I don't have this this ringing sound with with my microphone. I don't think it was coming from me because I was muted when we could hear it. But just in case, I, I used the headset. Okay, it's it's actually uh, getting uh, five after the uh, the hour, so we we we're, we're going to start. Uh, let me share again. So, um, Alex, do you want to do the intro, or can, can, do, do I just do it? Okay, let me let me do it this time, and then I will will do the hand to you, given that you prepared the. The hot topics afterwards. Okay. 
So, uh, hello everyone. So, this is uh, an interim meeting of the LP1 Working Group. So, it is an official ITF meeting, and as such, all uh, uh, policies of uh, the ITF are in effect. Uh, and uh, by participating, you agree to follow these policies and uh, processes. Um, so, you should read all the BCPs and all the documents that are listed here. So, please take the time. Um, and, uh, you know, if you do not agree with some of these policies, you know, you should not participate in the meeting. I mean, don't participate in the meeting. Um, so that's for this slide. Uh, can you move to the next? Ah, do I have the hand here? Yes, I have it. Perfect. Thanks. So uh, we'll be taking uh, minutes. Uh, Just on yes. It's just that I, I pressed the button at the same time as you did, but I, I'm moving the slides. I'm the one who shared them. But <laughs> oh, okay. If you want it, to take over, you can, but let me just move. No, no, it, it was a real inception moment. Like, like okay, it works. <laughs> so, um, yes, anyway. So, the, the, so, we'll be taking minutes, and please participate also in the code EMD. Uh, so, sorry, that's the notes, uh, itf.org uh, uh, minute-taking uh, Minute taking link, so you have the link uh, just here. I'm not sure if you can click it, so I'm going to post it in the chat um, at this time. Oh, yes, so it's here, uh, and we'll be taking uh, um, so the, 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 your participation will be logged as well. Um, so, uh, so yeah, that's for this part. So next uh, slide, please, uh, Pascal. Okay, and so uh, that is the agenda, and uh, I will leave then the, the word to Pascal for point. And apparently, it was screwed up by by the transformation to PP to PDF. Sorry for that. No problem, no problem. So this is the agenda for today. So do you have any? Uh, um, so we we have like the the overview of. Um, of how we are going with our uh, with our agenda, with our with our milestones. Then we have a big discussion on the Compound Act. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Juan Carlos is not going to be uh, here with us, but uh, Sergio is uh, with us. So thank you very much, Sergio. So we will uh, uh, go over this and, and with Dominique as well. Um, and then uh, we'll be talking about the Yang data model uh, and. Uh, that's it for me on this point. So, Pascal, you can take over. There are action items, and one of them was to update the architecture after the discussion on the last meeting before Christmas. And uh, there was, in particular, Eric's point about the IANA section gone. And um, I was surprised it was gone. I, actually, it was not really. It's just that um, th th there was no line break, uh, no intermediate lines in in the uh, source, and, and we are using MD. So so apparently that 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 was the prime the transformation from MD to XML to RFC um, lost that line. Inserting a blank line just restored the ANA section. So I did that. Um, then there was the, the review for the, uh, of the data model, which Dominic did, and we'll come back to that. And then there was the Compound Act publication process, which we hoped we could start uh, before Christmas. Actually, we could not uh, because the discussion was still active. But um, th that's why we have a, a long time today to, to see if we can progress on that. So um, our group status, we we have the um, we we still have this this question of whether we are we will be working on OAM, and that's the only time today where we can discuss you know where we go with OAM. So Dominic, if you want to to discuss it a little bit today, um, just now tell us what you want to do with it. Should we change the date or do anything? Want me to talk now? Oh. Yes, because we don't have a section okay. in OEM, so. Okay. Uh, yes, I still want to revive that document. I've been very busy with other stuff yeah. so far, but I know I've promised that for a couple of months, if not yours already. But... 
Yeah, so, so basically, maybe you will do it and present it for the next IETF. Uh, so so yes. that means that at this date... Get, yeah, at least get the thing revived. So so the date we have here is, is really not correct, right? I mean, we need yes, to change it. Definitely. I thought we discussed it last time, but I did not find a minute what we decided. So um, probably push it by one year or something. And what would be oh. your expectation? Um, what does the milestone mean? Produce a document? Well, that's is it really to ISG or is it working? Group yes, re usually that's submit to ISG that we put here. That's basically a request for publication. Okay, so yeah, let's put the end of this year. Like December. Okay, okay, okay. So let's write it in a minute this time. Push the, the OM document to end of December. And yeah, Otherwise, just want to remind that at last meeting we said the top priority was a young model. It is. It is. <laughs> just if if you know if we are missing the target date by a month or two, it would not matter. But this one we already know we'll miss it by large. So let's just be honest with it and, and push the date. That's what I had in mind. Okay. Um, so Sigfox, we are late, but not that much because we'll be producing the um, the, the, the compound hack already, and the, the other Sigfox document will not uh, be long after. So, so I don't think that we need to change the date. We're just a little bit delayed, but not that much. Okay. So the, the news is uh, O2 of compound hack was published just before Christmas. And that's basically the version that we hope we can uh, go for publication with. So it passed for group last call. That was the, the, the questions that you raised, Dominique, and for which we got this email yesterday from Juan Carlos. Um, so I understand it was a bit late and uh, I don't know. So that, that is your time. Uh, Actually, no, I have another slide, but basically that's that's O2 that was published. Um, and uh, the data model was published at the end of November as well. And we'll have, we'll have some discussion around it because there was an interesting thread again between Dominique and, and Laurent. Next slide. Okay, and now, now we're, we're, we're on for the, the compact. So, so the, the different questions we had was, uh, one of them was the, the data model. So Laurent, you removed the data model from your original data model document. So there is no, no trace of compound hack in the latest data model, correct? Yes. And so normally the, the, the version 02 of this draft of compound hack should have the data model piece that it needs. And did, did you look at it? Can you confirm that it's okay, that we can go with for publication with it? No. It's me. Uh, yes, I just have a question because Dominique raised an issue about uh, act compression or bitmap compression. So I don't know if it's solved or, or not. Uh, at the second bullet, but the question to you was about the data model. Yes, so but, yes, yes, but it, it means that uh, uh, for me, uh, one problem is if we have a compression, uh, the bitmap compression, uh, does uh, component act work? Is is a uh, component act working or, or not? And if we have to uh, to suppress uh, act compression, uh, bitmap compression, sorry, then we, we have to put it maybe in the data model. So that's uh, oh, okay. for me an open question for that. Because uh, I think Juan Carlos said he put some text on that, but it's not clear what the resolution is. Uh, 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 hello? Sergio? Maybe yeah? I can add something regarding the, the compressed bitmap support. Uh, we saw that the compressed bitmap is only supported in the last uh, bitmap of the compound act. Or if there is only one bitmap, well, we will have the format of the generic act and bitmap compression will be supported. 
So okay, in so intermediate bitmaps in the compound act, uh, we don't support the bitmap compression. Okay, so there is no ambiguities, so we don't need anything in the data model. Okay, well, so in, in that case, for me, it's good. So, so uh, I would like to see it written in the minutes. Uh, so so there, there is your question, and the answer by Sergio is, actually, the, the, the bottom line is, it's either or, right? You don't uh, do bitmap compression when you do Compadac. Is, is that what I understand? No. Uh, except we, for we, uh, exactly, except for the last uh, bitmap. The compound hack has multiple bitmaps. Only the last uh -huh. bitmap is compressed. All the other ones are inextensible. That's okay, it's the last bitmap of the set of bitmaps which are in the compound. That that's the answer. Correct. Okay. So I'm just waiting for the minutes to be captured because that is an uh, an important answer. Okay, and so maybe I can bring up the, the other questions. But, but so in, in that in that uh, in that aspect, Laurent, does this require any modification of the Yank model? No, no, at all. No, it's good. It's good because uh, uh, we don't need to modify it because uh, it's something that is systematic. So you don't have to say you disable the bitmap com uh, compression because it's something that is specified in uh, Companac. So there is no no switch between one behavior and the other, so we don't have to add something in the data model. Which data model are we talking about here? Because now the we have set the extension, right? And so... Sorry, I tried to write it, but one. I lost my... Uh... It will be the one that is in the Companac document, right? Yes. It was a question. Your question was about this one. Data model review by Laurent is the, the data model from Companac. Yes, I was asking because you said it's systematic, so I wasn't sure what you meant systematic. So there is this, <clears throat> when I read section four, uh, so it's not section four, sorry. It's uh, yes, for chic compound act parameters. So the first bullet point is usage or not of the chic compound. Oh, sorry, yes, sorry, no, no, sorry. It, it's my uh, uh, yeah, my my bad. Yeah. yeah, no, yes, that's the second point. Yes, usage or not of the compressed bitmap format in the last window. So the way I read it, that can be enabled or disabled. Sorry? Which document like are you talking about, Alex? Can you share your so screen? It, or it is, yes, yes, it is the compound hack document. The draft or the young model? The draft. Okay. The draft. So if you go to, I think it's section four. Chic yes, section four. Chic compound hack parameters. And it is written for so the second parameter that is visited is it's a parameter, usage or not, of the compressed bitmap format. Did you get that in which document? So that is of the compound act draft. Okay. And I posted a link in the chat. It, I mean, it doesn't seem a big issue to me, but I think that you you probably need to reflect that to in the young model. 
Oh, or, or I'm mistaking Sergio. I'm not sure if, if you need to, to reflect that in the in the model. Uh, but this is uh, some of the things we added after the last uh, review, where we add this section four that is something similar as the Annex D of the RFC 8724. Yeah, but I, I would expect that either it's a parameter and so it's configurable, uh, and in which case you need to find it in the Yang model, or it's not a parameter, and then you don't need it in the Yang model. But I'm not Yang. in uh, section 4. Sorry? I'm not in section 4. That's a general comment, Alex, yeah. that... Uh, we have also for the the Shikyang model. Uh, is everything is every parameter uh, part of the Yang model, or is is there some a priori knowledge of a profile that does not get into the Yang model? So I, I have similar questions for hmm, the next. Yes. I think it's a very important question and. The problem is that nobody knows really what is a profile, so I will uh, I will prefer to have everything uh, in the young model. And if we miss something, we add it. So then we should add the support or not to the bitmap compression in the last bitmap in the young model. Yes, if we. If we keep the point in uh, section four, yes. If we remove the point in section four, no. Okay. The points, and one of them is usage of compound act or not uh, at all. And even that one, I don't see it. I, I have the answer actually. I found the answer in the in the document. So a little bit or, uh, above, it is written the following: the optional usage of this compression map bitmap uh, must be specified by the specific profile. So it, it needs to be specified by the. It needs to be specified. Okay. Right. Alexander, when you speak, I have a lot of kind of echo. Oh, okay. I'll try to, to, to switch to my headphones. But I understood that Alexander was telling us that uh, none of Go the ahead. parameters, by the way, in section four are really... Right now, we, we have a, a, a young model extension, but there is nothing in it, pretty much. The, the basically whether the compound act is on or off, whether we compress the last bit map, none of that is none of that is indicated. But it's quite easy to add it. It's not a technical problem to add this in in the model. Yeah, yeah, but we need to to add it in uh, before we can uh, call for publication. So we need another three. The uh, consistency in, uh, between section four and uh, young mother. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly it. Okay, so so is, do we capture this? Uh, we need the full consistency. Basically, what you say, Laurent, we need to capture it. Uh, we need the full consistency of the data model in section three and the parameters in section four. Okay, so that means, Sergio, we, we need an O3, right? A what? Sorry? We need a version three because we need to augment yes. the data model by all, all the parameters in section four. 
Uh, so what is, is there a decision right now or we discuss after? Sergio, what do you prefer? We, we talk well, we can. We can do a, a follow-up email in, with the authors of the draft, but okay. I think that the, that the way to go is to uh, correct the young model, add these definitions that we added after in the section four, so that and generate a new version with I don't know this and any other suggestions, corrections, reviews of of this meeting. Okay. Okay, and I'm, I'm reviewing the email uh, exchange between Dominique and Juan Carlos and Juan Carlos Hester. The, the, first, the first questions were really about the compressed bitmap, so, so we, are, we are set. Uh, then there was the, the question, if the chic fragment sender gets a compound act with invalid Ws, like duplicate W, or not even sent, shall it discard? And Juan Carlos said, uh, we added uh, text they don't know what that text says from uh, here. The, the, the text is in, I'm sorry, in 3.1, chick compound act message format. Okay. And we have if a chick sender sends a chick compound act with invalid Ws, such as duplicate W values or, or W values not sent yet, it must discard, it must discard the whole chick compound act Check. message. Okay, I see the sentence. So, uh, Dominique, you're okay with that, right? I guess. Yes. Um, yeah. okay. It needed to be specified, whichever was in Yes, we, which it is now. Yeah. Uh, basically, can you write the delta text that should be applied to uh, 8724 ACON euro description to make it work with Compound ACK? Now, what Carlos says, the section adding this delta text has been added. Sergio, can you tell us what that section is? Yes, in this case, it's section 3.2, cheek Compound okay. ACK behavior. Uh, in this case, we added the sender behavior and the receiver behavior. Okay, besides, and you say besides the icon error behavior. So what you mean by besides the icon error behavior, you mean that you're augmenting the icon error behavior, right? Uh, I'm not sure that besides is actually very clear that it's actually that, but um, I guess that's what you mean. You mean icon error plus this, right? Uh, yeah, these other things you might consider uh, on top of the things that are considered on this document. Yes, okay. I'm just I'm just trying to say that the sentence says besides the icon error behavior. Uh, that's the mm -hmm. exact wording besides the icon error behavior, and it's not technically telling that we are augmenting icon error. We are building an icon error, augmenting it. Um, mm -hmm. So, if, if that sentence could be slightly reworded to say, hey, we do a an error plus uh, what we specify below, you know, okay. rewarding like that would be a little bit clearer. Sergio, uh, should, I, should we read this text as if we add those lines to 8724 at the appropriate location, then the behavior is correct and complete? Or are some of these sentences changing the ones that are already in there? Mm -hmm. Like on yeah. receiving a Shika correct, for example, I guess this already exists. Mm -hmm. In this so case, we are modifying that the sender must resend the chick fragments, not only of the window, since there are more windows, we are saying all tiles and of all windows that are reported in the chick component. Yes, you know, that's why it's important to be clear when you extend and when you update. And if you mm -hmm. effectively update, uh, then you, you need in the uh, documents, in the, the, the header set of document, you need to say update 8724. And so if you change the behavior in a way that an, an implementation should know, but I don't think you do, then um, you need to say update 8724. It's very touchy. Eric was with us, right? Eric, are you still there? Eric Winke? I think he's back. Because basically the, the rule for going from um, having to say update is basically 
the way I understand it, but it's my wording, is if what you're doing here should be something that existing implementations uh, will be impacted by. I mean, they should know about it. And uh, I'd say probably, right? Because if you write an implementation, at some point you may want to update your implementation to support this. Because it's, hmm. it's actually added it's value. And it's basically indeed how I read the update metadata that you put on RFC and, and, and documents is either extending it or changing the behavior. But extension is also the an update right, okay. most of the time. Okay, it was always a fight with Alvaro on this, on my recent RFC, so I'm not 100% clear, but okay, uh, let, let's buy exactly what you say, Eric. Uh, Sergio, that means that you have to say externs 8724 in the XML header. Okay. And in these sections 3.2, you need to basically say um, that this is how you extend or update, depending on if, if you update or if you extend. You need to be very specific. We extend it. So, so the section should even be, you know, extending 8724 or something. And then your text should not be besides like it is right now. It should be the specification updates 87.24 to do this. Okay. See what I, you need to be very specific so, because the implementer needs to know, oh, I need to change my code. It's not so much about extend. You need to say update, right? So there are pieces where it's extend and pieces where it's update, right? That's what I understand. A bit yeah. of both. And so you need to uh, say, uh, oh, wait. Uh, the, the metadata that you need to use into the, the document itself in the XML is update. Yes, if we you're not clear how to do that. And amend or whatever, but the only one which is recognized right now on this is update. Yeah, so in the metadata, we say update, but in 3.2, at some points, the, the text should say this, this specification updates or extends depending on if it's new code or if you have to modify the existing code. Then we agree. Yeah. So, so Sergio, do, do, maybe we need to capture this? Yes, um, because the, the thing is that when, in, in a sense, it uh, updates, as you need to send new fragments, uh, you need to change how you interpret the, the act is interpreted, how you use this act is, is a bit uh, different. But in the other sense, after the old one or the old zero, you will be receiving the compound act. So I think that it will be an update in this sense that you will need to send a new Windows and it will extend the same behavior as the old one and the old zero messages. Well, in this case, the old one message. Am I correct? Dominique? <laughs> I believe you are, but... I'm just well, showing the minutes at the same time. Uh, there are two things I want to address. One is, um, do we extend or, or do we update uh, 87.24? I think we extend because for implementations that do not care about the compound ARC, we are not changing anything. For mm -hmm. them. So to me, but <laughs> I'm not- I, I don't buy that one because Yes, if you don't care about an update, you don't implement it. But if you care, it's actually updating the code. Now, now somebody then, can stay at an old RFC if they want to stay at an old RFC and never implement the newest RFCs. But um, it's, the, the fact is the behavior changes the existing thing, right? You have to... Profiles that use it. Yeah, only, but it's still an update. Okay, so... Okay. Uh, extend is, is uh, you, you have a new plugin for a new feature and, and you know, you don't change the code, you just have a new case and, and go. But yeah, you have to, to basically insert the fact that you loop on all the bitmaps at some point. So I guess that piece is update. Okay. So I have captured okay. in the minutes that you need to change. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> you know, you, you'll see, you, you have the whole ISG in front of you to tell you what to do. 
So, so we'll see. I hope, uh, they, uh, I hope they agree between themselves. Yeah, that's the other one. That's the other one. So very interesting thing. So, so at least once, once somebody that tells you something, you can refer to him as having told you that. <laughs> um, but I, I think it's a good start to say that the section 3.2 should be extending, should be called extending RFCs 8724. And then in the text itself, you should not say besides ACON error, you should say uh, this specification extends the ACON error behavior by doing this, blah, blah, blah. At some point when there is really an update, you say update. And, and right. And so that's the second point I wanted to touch upon, which is to me, the, the delta was, when I asked about the delta, it was really an editorial delta, like after this line, insert that line or replace that paragraph with that paragraph. The way it is written right now, I'm not sure what the final text is. I understand. I kind of guess I should insert new paragraphs, but I'm guessing I should also uh, remove some of them. And I don't know where, and the order might be important. So I was really expecting, you know, something that you can put into a machine to edit, you know, automatically replace text in 8724, and boom, you get the new 8724. If you will. Yeah. So what you're saying is basically it's not very clear. The code that you derive from this plus eight seven twenty four by two different person might be two different behaviors. Because we don't know exactly where to insert this. Okay. Um Sergio, did you did you did you get that one? Yes. I, I this one I will have to 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 talk with Juan Carlos and the and and other authors to, to check it to see how we can modify that way or or i don't know if the objective is to to have the, the the delta that way or to have the delta in some sort of way as it is now uh <clears throat> if you keep it the way it is now you would need to to put an appendix or something but that would not okay. be normative right uh the, the basically the new the new 8724 text so basically, take the whole section of uh, Acadera and rewrite it with the new behavior in it. Okay. And, and, and you know, so that that would be the ideal because if we have the new behavior, you just copy paste the text as it is and you change exactly what you want to change at the right place, and then then that cannot be a mistake. It's not confusing. So the question is, if you do that. Maybe. It's, it's one way of doing things. You get the whole new text and for the implementer, it, he or but, she does not care about the old one, just takes a new one and tries to But then you, you can diff, right? Uh, and, uh, other, or, or you can say, change this by that at this line, but it's unreadable. But, I, I, I don't, I don't okay, know. Whichever. That, that was the way I saw it, but like the but this, uh, amendments. But. Oh, yeah, anyway. yeah. yeah. Um, so just <laughs> just to be clear, we will be in this case the the idea will be to take the whole icon error section and rewrite it with a new behavior and add that to this document, right? With the minimal delta, so that we can very we can see very well what is changed. Uh, the, the point is to to illustrate to really say hey i changed this in that okay. at that place and so and what the wait, is telling us is yeah. sorry just do a, a, a diff you know uh, output like you would apply a patch to text okay if that works better for you so you, you understand that you you don't want to change text that you really you don't really have to change because the diff becomes complicated so you really if you think diff you really think about minimizing the places where you change and do very specific change. That's when you typically need... done in, in similar documents, when a document update another one by changing one section, it's typically paragraph by paragraph, and you say old text, new text, old text, new text. Uh, so it makes pretty clear. Do, if you Eric, want to would make you place... minimum diff. 
would you place that uh, diff type of stuff in appendix or in the main text? In the main text, in the main text. Okay. So, so uh, maybe a section it, three to the place, three. I mean, I, I haven't read this document, right? But at some point of time, you need to explain what you are doing in section two, three, or maybe the three or two that you are talking about. This is where you provide the diff. Now, if the diff, it's basically whether you prefer to have a five or six old text, new text, old text, new text in the, the thing, which makes very difficult to read, or you completely replace a section. This section replace section blah, blah of this RFC. It's basically up to your taste. Both ways are accepted. Uh, if you are replacing 80% of the text, replace the complete section. If you are replacing 5%, only do new text, old text. Uh, and of course, everything in the middle, it's up to you, basically. To decide which way you prefer to do it. I think that maybe an old text, new text will be good for this section, as the behavior is not changing that much. Which is perfectly fine, you know better than I do, Sergio. Okay. My, my suggestion, Sergio, would be that you keep 3.1 and 3.2.1 and 3.2.2 the way you have them, but you create a 3.2.3. So after the receiver behavior, you say, uh, here is the update. So instead of calling 3.2 uh, the, the update RC8724, uh, it would be your new section 3.2.3, which would mm -hmm. be uh, the update. And so uh, the would, update would be, you see, would give this diff state. Okay. So you don't, have to, you don't change anything from, you keep everything exactly the way you have it, but you have a new section 323, which is uh, updating RFC 8724. And you do the okay. diff. Okay, perfect. So I'm changing what I capture. I have uh, a question. So I, I perfectly agree with uh, uh, with what Pastel just said. I think that would be the most readable uh, way to do it. And uh, also thanks, Dominic, for actually pointing to this point because yes, it's uh, uh, the original RFC. So the the, the Aconera mode. You know, like I, I think there was the whole um, automation, the full finite state automation that was included into, into that into that consideration so actually i think that after doing that maybe you will think of okay we didn't handle that use case we didn't handle that case right so it's probably going to uh you know it, it will help a lot the real readability um uh maybe one question to eric and also to pascal is uh, because here we're talking about chic compound act and in section uh so in the in, in, in section 8.4.3 of the or of the rfc 8724 so there is no mention whatsoever for chic compound act um so which is normal right because it didn't exist at the time um so should in your opinion should there be uh like mentioning of the previous parts of the of of of, of the chic compound act draft that actually define what's the chic compound act to be also put in section 3.3 that does the delta uh or or, or maybe there is section 3.3 that's like generic generics so chic compound act like the generic stuff the terminology and all that that gets inserted in um uh, in previous sections of rfc 8724 and then uh, 3.4 uh, which is basically the new uh, version of so the updated version of of the acon error or we don't care about like we we suppose that people would would be intelligent enough to understand what chic compound act is and you know just focus on the acon error subsection i'm not sure if i was quite clear about on, on, on my question right um 
so yes. I said you were not that clear, to be honest. Mm. But yeah, you so know, the better than I do, so just make me. So I mean, I mean, the point is that yes. We we are only fifteen minutes off. Yeah. Okay, uh, I can write this out. I can write this up. It, it's. I can I can write an email about this. Because we are going through through the answers by Juan Carlos, and so the, the rest was were minor comments, um, mm -hmm. and I guess the 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 text was agreed. So so what everything you asked was exactly done the way you asked it the week. So, so I think we are good for your review once we we've done that. Um, the the next item is is the shepherd selection. Do we have a shepherd? Would anybody volunteer to be the shepherd? Otherwise, I guess the chairs will be the shepherds. And we have the data model, and we have this one. And on, so, and on this one, Pascal and Alex, I would really love to get document shepherd that are not the chairs. Oh, Simply nice. because I would we, like that too. <laughs> it's not mandatory, right? Uh, but it's also the opportunity for our newcomers uh, basically to understand the process and to learn more and potentially become chairs later. Um, so it's not really to relieve work on you, Pascal and Alex, but it's <laughs> no, because to, we need to shepherd the shepherd. Not to others, right? Sorry. <laughs> okay. So. Should should the shepherd come from this group, or would you have people from other groups? Or within the core or Oh, your voice did not go through, Eric. Maybe you were speaking, but it didn't. I just heard some words in the end. Maybe the, maybe you have network crimes or something. Eric? Yeah, no. I was simply repeating that. It's not mandatory that the chairs are the document shepherd. It would be really good to get somebody else, uh, which is not an author, of course, which is also not a chair. Uh, maybe a call on the on the mailing list would be nice, except if, I don't know, uh, Anna, for instance, wants to step forward. Because there's an opportunity to learn more stuff. So do we have volunteer right now, the call? Does he does he need to be coming from this group or should, could it be somebody from Maxwell? It should typically be somebody which was attending the working group meetings because he needed some point of time the document shepherd says whether there was a working group consensus or not. And it's difficult okay. to see. Okay. Uh, I will call it, we'll, so we'll take the item we need to so chairs to to call for a shepherd. I'm writing that in the minutes. If we don't find, yes, we. I guess we'll have to do it ourselves. Okay, I send an email on the mailing list for that. Um, and then uh, basically be aware that uh, part of the, the first question the shepherd will ask is whether there is IPR on this document. So please go through you, whatever IPR you published recently or the others and everybody at this call and if you have something related to this document then please be prepared to answer uh, that there is a PR. And with this we move to the next topic which is the uh, one group last call for the sheet data model and Laurent will be sharing this slide. Okay I will try. Uh, I ask for, no it's not the wood one it's this one sorry. Uh, so how to get the slides, slide I'm request, to you. but you're still sharing something, so. Yes, it says that the slides are already taken, I'm getting an error. I so, need to stop sharing. Yes, probably it doesn't have a right, I need to stop first, is that you're saying? Sure. I'm trying, yeah. Okay, that's good. Okay, so I will skip uh, the first uh, question. So just to uh, tell you what happened. So before the vacations, uh, Dominique sent some comments. Then we have some discussion, offline discussion together. And then there was a vacation and we 
uh, uh, we didn't walk that much during the vacation, so we we have to come back to to update things. So Dominic just uh, put some. Uh, so there is change in the repository. So it has been uh, updated by uh, by Dominic to change to make some language correction, and there is uh, some question in, in in the mail. So I will go only to one question that I think it's uh, very important to to discuss uh, here. Uh, the other we can do offline uh, with the mailing list, and so I think one more important question is uh, about uh, uh, interleaved uh, chic fragment because we can have implementation for example that can support uh, two fragments only because they don't have enough memory for three but uh, we we have a d tag that uh, has for example two bits so it's possibly we can have four uh, frag uh four packet to be sent at the same time so the question is what do we do for for that do we introduce a new element in the young model that say okay theoretically you can send uh, four packets but practically we have only uh, the memory for two because it's not specified in the in the rfc's uh or do we skip it and say the implementation has to uh to do the maximum each time so I don't know if I'm clear about that, but I think it's say what the maximum interleaved packets is, right? Sorry? It doesn't hurt to say a maximum interleaved packet equals three. three. Okay, but okay, so we can add it in the model, it's not a, a problem, but until now we tried just to put the parameter that was in the RFC. So we, we had this one. Do you think there are other parameters like that, which would make sense? Because you, you have to think about not the RFC, but the implementation. Yeah. At some point, the implementation has to, to create buffers to support the packet. And so it can say, oh, I, if I support maximum of two, meaning I can have four packets. Mm. But it should basically check if it can do what the, the profile says. So the more clear you are about how many packets you, you how many buffers you need to 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 have, uh, the best yeah. for the implementation. Yes, but that good question. That's why we need group re review because I put uh, the parameter I I thought was important. But if someone has other ideas, then they we have to tell it. So to answer your question, Pascal, yes, there are other parameters like this one. Another one, for example, is a lifetime of a D tag at the receiver. How long is that D tag value uh, reserved for? Uh, for example, in NOAC mode, we still have D tags. Potentially, we could send multiple interleaved packets, even in NOAC. And so, because it's NOAC, there's no timer, no retransmission expiration. Uh, and so the D tag has to live for some time in the receiver so that the receiver knows if it's a new packet with the same D tag or if it's a fragment of a packet that has already been assembled. And, and so, yeah, we talk about this in the RFC. We say the profile should say how long the D tag is alive for at the receiver. Shall we capture that in the young model? Okay, for, for me, what is not clear is the link with in, inactivity timer that we have no, in the model. In NOAC mode, there's no inactivity timer. Um, okay, but we have it in the model, so we can use it. Or it's we need to, to put something else. I, I mean, specifically, if it's written that, you know, it can be specified, then of course making a, it adding as a, a parameter to the model makes sense to me but is it is it meaningful to say in the commands of the inactivity timer in the case of noac uh, this is the value of the lifetime of the d tag of any state not just the d tag but any state related to to a packet for me it's good it's a good uh, hypothesis just to to study dominique 
Um, I think I wanted to say there are parameters that are not protocol elements. Hmm. And so shall we have them in the new model? I would think so if it impacts the behavior on both sides. This timer impacts the behavior on both sides and they might be this, uh, out of sure. sync if, if they don't have the same value. So if you have any any knowledge uh, that needs to be on both sides, it needs to be on the data model. Because even if it doesn't show on the protocol, it impacts the way the two sides operate the protocol. Okay. So, so is, is it complicated to build a list of those parameters? Can give it a try. Okay, so I'm adding a to do. So who is taking this to do? It's basically Dominique plus Laurent on the mailing list, something like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, and probably maybe I mean maybe we'll need to to have the list and and circulate it on the mailing list. Because there might be some considerations that we cannot, you know, maybe if it, even if it's logical, imagine that we, you know, we put the detail lifetime of some duration, and then you you so happen to have several sessions one after the other, and then suddenly you have no more details because the lifetime, like, like let's say you have you, you have I don't know four details and so you have four fragmentation sessions and you have put like the 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 lifetime of i don't know one day so then you need to wait one day for the whole session you know to, for the detailed lifetime to expire yeah that's life i mean yes <laughs> that's why you want yes. a, a, a detail which is maybe a lot more than the number of interleaved packets by the way so that's a good reason to have the number of interleaved packets but to, to the previous issue right Yes, the initial value don't recommend it. Okay, so we have a to do. We are close to the hour, so maybe Domin uh, Laurent, if you have other points that you want to share. Uh, just let me. Uh... I think uh, I don't remember this one. Maybe, maybe the Dominique, if you can say something on, on the penalty I'm tired or we discuss offline. Uh, about yeah, I this. looked up uh, following your response. I looked up 8724 and we specifically say that the profile should say if we activate this feature or not. So it should be it should be the young model, I think. Okay. Hmm. So it is an option. And the other thing I added was that this may vary by rule, from one rule to the next. And so it's actually more than the profile. It's an even more uh, better reason for having it in a young model per rule. Okay, okay so, so this, this one's editorial, the hmm. window size. Yes, and that's all. Uh, yes, so regarding your question earlier, Dominic, where you asked about, okay, should we have in the Yang data model like all the parameters that we can find in the in our eighty seven twenty four? Uh, I would say even if there is a document that actually fixes some of the parameters, let's say Shikov uh, uh, Aurora one or Shikov over Sigfox, we still have them in the Yang data model. Right, even though that would be like a constant for the technology, but so I, I think that unless it's like a huge increase of the Yang of the Yang document, having all the parameters uh, uh, in the in the Yang in the Yang model, it's it, it's it's a nice thing. To... Well, if they are common between technologies, then it seems easy enough, but 
know if they are specific to each technology and we need to augment the data model for each technology. Like this yeah. discussion, you know, uh, sending an uplink after a downlink fragment mm. so that we have an opportunity for the next downlink. Yeah. As it Which... was, I don't remember, it's, uh, it's not this one. It's this one, I think. It's like always, uh, it's uh, the terminology because uh, we have. There was a terminology issue, but there's another mm. one, which is, uh, how do you call it, link? You have after all zero, after all one, and the other one was uh, always, or, and uh, there was confusion with uh, like always. Right, and then you say when the L2 allows it. Yes. yes. Which is very vague, and we have a parameter, I mean, okay. It's when you want, or you when you can. <laughs> okay, we need to to discuss this a bit more. Dominic, reply to to this response to on saying that I mean. We need to continue on the mailing list, I guess, because the, the, the hour is passed. Right, yes. So let's continue on the mailing list. Um, yeah. You can schedule so, the item on the agenda for the next interim. Oh, it will be. I mean, the, the, uh, all this will continue. So I hope by, by the next interim we'll progress on uh, on those issues so we, we have something to discuss. But that, that was a great, great, great uh, interim because we really progressed on, on a good number of issues for those documents. I'm very happy for today. Mm. Uh, so, just before we, sp we, we split, uh, because we don't have an next interim program, uh, do you want uh, for us to continue? How do you feel? One time per month, is it okay? Or one time every two weeks, maybe? How do you feel? I think two weeks. If uh, on this document we we have to progress quite quickly and make some consensus, so uh, I think it's good to to have these meetings. So till the next IETF, we do every other week, and maybe sure. after the IETF, if we have less load, we'll go every month. So do you know how will be the next IETF? It's a physical one or it's still uh, remote? Uh, they said there would be a, an in-person uh, component. That's what I read last time. It's Philadelphia, right? Or is it Philadelphia or the one after? That was a long time ago that they said that. Yeah, because that was before the... the Omicron? Omicron, yeah. <laughs> But, you know, if Omicron is not killing, and, oh, it's Vienna, sorry, it's Vienna. So, one certain is Vienna, and I think they said that would be an in-person conflict. Mm. Let's see what the situation is in, at that time. And then one summer is Philadelphia, and uh, fall is London. So, uh, so then just one, Oh, one question, because it's in, in two weeks' time, we have not yet made, made the announcement. Uh, so do you feel any trouble with that, Pascal, or you would like for us to to announce it for, I don't know, for the 25th or the 1st of February, and then do B week uh, every other week from, from there on? Uh, it's not me, right? I mean, it's the ATF rules, so maybe... Yeah. We can always try to to twist the process and ask in two weeks, but I guess it's cleaner to ask in three weeks. If we do the ask now for three weeks from now, I think it would be good. Okay, so we'll ask. I'll I'll, I'll ask for um for twenty fifth of twenty uh, fifth of uh, January, and then every second every other week from there on. Yeah, that's that means three because the ATF is. 19 of March, so I guess that would be three meetings. So no, four, maybe four meetings. 
Well, if we are, if we want to have one close, if not one in March, it's going to be four meetings. Okay, so I'll do that right away. Okay, so thank you all. Um, and that, that concludes the meeting. Alexander, do you want me to upload the minutes or are you doing it? Okay. Yes, uh, go ahead and I will uh, schedule the, the, the calls. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, let's do that because I can upload that in, in MD and I guess you still have a problem with Apple, right? I don't, I don't know, I don't know. That That's some kind of weird magic thing. I don't know how to make it. Like it's, you upload the thing and it says it's not in the... Yeah, yeah. I, I found my, a way. Format. <laughs> I, f I found a way uh, in in Windows. So let me upload it from a Windows PC, and it'll be okay. I'll get the Windows machine just for that. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Inexpensive these days. <laughs> bye bye. Thank you. Thank okay, you bye. All. Bye. Take care. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.